So Stu, first uh, Biggleswade uh, derby of the season, one all um, at home to Biggleswade FC. It was a pretty even game all in all. How do you reckon the game went? Um, I thought they were much better than us. Um, I think they started well. Uh, they had a good attitude towards the game and I thought they, they dominated everything, to be honest with you. Um, every 50-50, every breakdown. Uh, they were better than us, they were sharper than us. Uh, we didn't anticipate anything. Our attitude and our application first half was way off, way off from the standards that we've set ourselves. Um, and to be fair, I felt that in the warm-up. And I said to them before we, well, we went out, they would be locked off in the warm-up and they carried that in. Uh, as you say, we started really poorly and it makes it difficult when you start games that slow. Um, and you let other teams come, especially at home. You come here and they start dominating you. Um, then you come unstuck and we did. Four minutes in, you're one nil down. You know, and it's a tough one to get back from. So, first half really disappointing. Second half, uh, made the change, obviously, to hold the midfielder, uh, brought Carlos out of it and put Zach into it. And we were a little bit better, second half. Uh, I think second half was a little bit more even, um, but we're disappointed not to certainly get a goal earlier than what we did. And we had the chances. To, to finish, but we didn't take them, and you know that's with those small percentages, you know. So, but on the whole, I suppose a fair result, uh, one one. Uh, we were looking at the end, you know, it could have been a little tap in from them at the end. Uh, so we got a little bit of luck out of that. But on the whole, like you just said to them in there, you know, you've got to be brave enough to do what you do, brave enough to do what you're good at. Um, we never done a first half. We done it a little bit more second half. But so we'll, we'll take the one one and we'll come away. So we've got uh, Leighton Town, our next game away from home. Uh, what sort of things can we maybe change or take forward into that game to get a fair result? Uh, firstly, positioning. Starting in the right, in the right positions. Uh, we know what they are. Uh, we've been doing it a lot in the last about six, seven weeks, and that's how we've been dominating games and controlling games. Uh, so that's the first thing that we need to do, get back to our make sure that positioning across the pitch is spot on. Um, and then to being brave on the ball, being brave and playing your, playing your football. Um, and making it, making the pitch big as quickly as you possibly can. You know, when we're out of possession, yes, you know, we've got to be tight and we've got to be close, but as soon as that, that changes hands, we've got to make sure that we get to our wide positions really early, really quickly, so that we can then push the ball around and move it effectively. Uh, again, we didn't do it today, and that's disappointing we've said that in there. You know, it's, there's nothing being said in there that, that shouldn't be said. Everything was right. You know, they've had a kick up the backside at the right times, and they've been educated as well. You know, and what, what's needed and what we, what we want to do and what we're good at. And that's what we've got to do. We've got to play to our strength and not the opposition's strength. Uh, so that's what we've got to take forward. We've got to remember what we're good at and go and, go and make it happen.